On an early morning hike, one of my favorite parks, it's 24 degrees. This is a, a shakedown hike of my new pack, the new shoes I'm gonna be wearing this year. Cause just a few days away, I got like an 85 mile trip coming. I wanna be sure that everything is working out the way it's supposed to. So, gonna head up here, put some miles on. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm carrying for this trip. So check it out. A shakedown hike today. This pack is the ULA Circuit. Just got it in the mail a little while ago. Customized all the colors and different features on it. So far, it feels great on my back. There's no tightness in my hips, or you know, there's none of that tension you know, that would normally go with an ill-fitting pack. So far, it's worked out really well. The total weight of this pack, with everything that I'm going to be bringing on this trip, is 26.14 pounds. That's with water food, everything. That's pretty good for me. I'm usually a little heavier than that. Um, the base weight is 17.18 pounds. That's without the food and water and fuel, but it's a pretty solid loadout. I'm also doing a shakedown hike on the Ultra Temp 2. So new pack, new shoes for this year. Big trip coming up in a few days and I gotta make sure that this stuff is gonna work out okay. So if you get new gear before a new trip, be sure to do a shakedown hike and make sure it works for you. Otherwise, it could be disastrous, especially if you have a lot invested in, in a big trip. So, so far, so good. While I'm out here doing the shakedown hike, my buddy Scott came with me, decided to put in some trail time as well, only because it's a super nice day. It's always nice just to get outside a little bit. But a little bit about Scott. Now this guy, you wanna talk about an outdoorsman, uh, a, a true, a true, I don't want to say bushcrafter, but a true outdoor guy. He uh, owns and operates a group called Bull Moose Patrol. He's a certified Maine guide. I mean, he teaches classes on how to sleep and be happy about it at 30 below zero Fahrenheit, all this stuff. So tell them a little bit about what you do, what you've done, where they can find your information. Yeah, yeah thanks, Rob. Yeah, it is a beautiful day out here. Uh, yeah, so we're neighbors. I think the funny thing is, we know each other from volleyball. Yeah, we both play back. volleyball. Yeah, he's a lot bigger than I am. I'm one of the short guys, but I was still good back in the day. So we're we're volleyball guys, and like ten years down the road, we come around, find out we both love wilderness stuff and outdoor stuff. So that's great. But yeah, I started Bull Moose Patrol um, about seven eight years ago, and it was really taking a lot of what I'd done personally outdoors wise, camping, backpacking, canoeing, hunting, all that, and also through scouts and and uh, starting to teach classes, guide trips, and, and blog about it. So those are kind of the three tiers of things we do with Bull Moose Patrol. There's bullmoosepatrol.com, which try to write a lot about great outdoor opportunities, largely in our region, but also some trips further away. So places where to go, kind of an online guidebook, and then also how to do it. And uh, I, I love the outdoors. I love wilderness tripping. I do like bushcraft. I like backpacking. There's a lot of things I like, but really what I like is just wilderness camping and wilderness yeah. tripping. So uh, I'd say I'm somewhat of a, a pragmatist. I try and take a look at what do you need to do to be safe and have a good time and be comfortable. But, you know, that said, I do like traditional stuff. I like history. I like, um, for me, there's sort of a natural tie between the way people lived in the past and the outdoors. I know it's not that way for everyone, but for me, for me it is. So a lot of stuff I do has kind of a nod to uh, nostalgia or, yeah. or history, but probably primary activities. I'm passionate wilderness canoeist. We did a great trip in the Allagash. Yeah, together. we did an Allagash can canoe trip up in Maine. I'll leave a uh, a link right up here where you can check out that video. I think there's three videos. That was a fantastic trip. That was a bull moose patrol trip. And just uh, as a throwback to the stuff that he likes to do, speaking of the nostalgia, I mean, check out this pack. This is the pack that he's he's got going on today. Look at that. It looks like a Fial Raven, but it's not. This is an actual, genuine Norwegian military pack. Yep. Pretty comfortable, actually. It's got the, you know, the frame on it. That's pretty cool, and it's oh, probably 18 pounds, maybe 20 pounds. Yeah, yeah, loaded out. It's the old uh, Bergen's Alpine rucksack design that's been around for a hundred years or something like that. But uh, 
Yeah, so canoe trips, I've got the full trailer. I guide trips. We have just wonderful opportunities. Of course, Boundary Waters is the natural option here in northern Minnesota. I happily paddle my whole life in the Boundary Waters, but we, you know, we also have a lot of great rivers in the area that I love exploring. I love paddling, moving water. Love the destination, going A to Z, getting a bit of uh, white water in there and white water paddling techniques. I like things that incorporate skill, and I love teaching those types of things. So back ferries and eddy turns and I've done a lot of trips in Maine got the Maine guide license they have a very strong canoeing culture out there and the techniques are a little bit different picked up canoe polling out there which has become a big passion of mine. stand up canoe polling stand up canoe polling yep how you can use a pole to have complete control of a canoe go up water go down stop in the middle of the rapids move sideways uh, Chip Cochran that was on that Allagash yeah. trip with us is probably the the best in the world at world least in the renowned. modern world and uh watching what he can do in a canoe is absolutely amazing so but yeah i love backpacking i've done a lot of great backpacking trips over the years and hope to do plenty more winter camping is a big passion and i do like bushcraft and survival and uh excited we haven't even talked about this yet but i've, I've got a deal uh, i've been talking to uh, anoka county parks i live okay. right next to wargo nature center and uh, i'll be using their facilities over the course of the year to teach classes and run nice. some trips right there so you know stay stay on the lookout for backpacking winter camping canoe camping and some survival skills courses there all right and know. they can find you bull moose patrol bull moose patrol dot com yep. most active on facebook but there's there's a website too all right, well, check it out. I'll leave a link uh, of that website right down in the comment area. So if you have any questions for Scott, leave those down in the comments, and I'll be sure to, to ask them, and we'll get you some answers. But appreciate you coming out today. It's, it's just a nice damn day. It's Beautiful. just a nice day. Beautiful day. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, man. What do you got there? Svea, one, two, three. Made in Sweden. Solid brass. It's a 100-year-old design. It's... Uh, Great little stove, a lot of fun. Kind of voodoo lighting technique. There's different ways of doing it, but you have to get some heat to build up the pressure in the, in the stove. There's no pump. So it's a little bit of a trick to get it preheated. A little more messing around than modern stoves, but. Just enjoyed a, a hot little beverage on that really cool little Swedish stove that Scott had. The thing is, it's 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 cool. It's it's, it's old, but it looks like it's uh, just some old school tech that works really well. But now, since we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a pack dump and show you everything that I have for this coming trip. Doing 85 miles on the Ozark Highlands Trail. I leave in just a few days. So I'm going to dive right in. If you have any questions on any of these gear items, leave those questions, comments down in the, in the comment area below. And I'll leave descriptions and links to where you can get some of the stuff if, if you're interested in it. Uh, we'll start right on the outside here, right on top. I have my Thermarest Z seat, sit pad. This thing, I mean, it's, it's super functional. Windscreen, obviously used as a sit pad because it's still like 25 degrees outside. So I'm just going to sit on that. On the side, I have the stuff sack for my spreader bars for my hammock and the pull mods for my hammock tarp. And also in the side pocket is my cook kit. Like I'm using the Fancy Feast for this trip and along with a, another fuel bottle. On this side, I have new trekking poles because I broke my last ones. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to use these and film at the same time, but these are Cascade Mountain Tech. They're, they're cheap Amazon carbon fiber poles, but they're one of the highest rated trekking poles on Amazon. And uh, uh, Midwest backpacker Jeremy, he has them and he loves them. And then also in this side pocket, I have my Be Free water filter. It's on the exterior of my pack. That way I can just grab it without having to fumble inside. Uh, right in the front, meshy, meshy pouch. I'm going to bring my Mora knife. I have my shit kit, trowel, toilet paper, hand sanitizer in here. My rain jacket, black diamond. Got a review of this right up here. 
and then the rain pants. That way, if it does gonna call for rain, I can take these out really quick and put them on. And I also have these gloves that I keep in this pocket as well. And these are just uh, some kind of windproof Manzella, I think, brand. That's it for there. Let's turn this guy around. I do have the Justin's UL water bottle pocket holders. I got a couple of 750 mils I'll be bringing. In the left hip belt pocket. Ugh. Can't do anything with those on. Uh, I keep my headlamp here, the Nightcore NU25. Nothing else in there. On this side, I'll have snacks in here as well. But on this side, I just keep a microfiber rag so I can, you know, help with sweat, things like that. That's it for the exterior of the pack. You know, nothing strapped on the bottom or anything. So let's open up the main body. And this is a roll top bag. I love it. Right on top is my food bag. Now this has got four days worth of food in here. There is a resupply down in Arkansas right now with my last half of my food for the trip. So the shit kit and the food bag is made by a guy named Ben. And he has a company called Hilltop Packs. And these food bags, these custom Dyneema DCF food bags, you know, he, he's custom printing these and these things are starting to go everywhere. So if you want some custom printed, personalized items, check out Hilltop Packs. I'll put a link in the description below where you can contact Ben. He's making some really, really good stuff. This is a nice food bag. Reach in there, I got my War Bonnet Ridge Runner hammock. Followed by the War Bonnet 13 foot Mountain Fly tarp. I have my Diddy bag, you know, and it has you know, various stuff in here. You know, I got my AirPods, my medical kits in here, thermometer, my little Rology cork ball, to, you know, to roll out my muscles. And my big battery pack is in here too because it's such a long trip. Toothbrush, toothpaste, extra chapstick, all that stuff is in the Diddy bag. And my camp shoes, these are brand new for this year. They fold down really flat. They weigh exactly a pound as a pair. When you get to camp after 15 miles on trail, you kick off your shoes, put on some nice comfy shoes, let your feet breathe a little bit. Got my Lynx 20 degree under quilt for the hammock. And this is my Hammock Gear Econ Burrow 30 degree top quilt with an ounce of overstuff. The temperatures we're expecting down there are lows in the high 30s and, and highs in the mid 60s, so I'll be plenty warm. And down the very bottom of the pack are my extras. Sleep socks, extra merino wool, smart wool shirt, sleep tights, my REI Puffy, of course. Ugh. Extra pair of hiking socks and my warm beanie. I always keep an extra beanie to wear just in camp so it's warmer and it's dry. I have a different beanie that I wear you know, while I'm actually hiking. That's it. That's everything that's going to come with me on this trip. Now, the clothing I'll be wearing, I won't be wearing this kind of stuff. I have another set. But that's everything. If you have any questions, like I said, about any of these items, if you think I forgot anything, leave those questions, comments down in the comment area. I read all the comments and I answer them all too, so you may as well leave your two cents down there. But I'm excited for this trip. I'm ready to hit the trail already. Appreciate you stopping by and watching. Appreciate you meeting Scott over there. <laughs> and like I said, be sure to check out his blog and his website down below if you want to learn some really cool outdoor tips, survival, training, skills, all that stuff. But enjoy the rest of the day. Hope your day is awesome. See you on the trail.